Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Magandang, 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 maganda po kayong lahat. And congratulations to all graduates, to all Indies. Hello, 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 ILLC. Nako, mabuhay po kayo lahat. I am so honored and I'm so grateful that I am invited to be a part of this journey of yours. Yes, congratulations to everyone. Yes, when I say everyone, each individual who is present today, not only the students, but also the parents, but also the teachers. Indeed, because we just came from, and we are still on a pandemic. And I know, ang hirap hirap po ng mga pinagdaanan po ng bawat isa sa atin. Everybody went through a journey, di ba? Your children is going through a journey. The parents are going through a journey. And the teachers are going through a journey. So everybody is going through a journey. And you are here today on a graduation day. Ibig sabihin, lahat po kayo ay natapos ang isang chapter ng buhay niyo po. Isang chapter po kung saan ay graduate po tayong lahat. Kayong lahat po ay natapos po ang isang chapter ng buhay na yan. Kaya congratulations po sa inyo lahat. Palakpakan niyo po ang inyong mga sarili. Totoo po yan. Hindi lang po ang mga students. Students, you know, dear students, you know how hard it is that what your teachers are doing for you to teach you online. Teacher, you know, students, it's very hard to teach online because you want to do something else. You want to play games. You want to go out. You want to go to the bathroom. And we cannot, uh, we cannot keep your focus. It's so hard to teach you. But then teacher loves you and wants to teach you. So how about a round of applause for teacher? And you know students, you know how hard it is for mom, dad, and everybody in the whole house to teach you also and help you to be online, to always remind you to be online, to keep you on your seat, to remind you to attend class, to struggle and negotiate with you, to beg you. Because you know why? Because they love you. Because they love you. And you know, mom and teachers, why these students are here today? You know why they graduated? Why they went to class? Because they love you too. So I think today is a day of gratitude and a day of love. Because everybody went through a journey and everybody went through it with love in our hearts, in their hearts. That's why na overcome, di ba? Nadaanan. It is by grace. I think truly, I truly believe, yes, the pandemic has so many disadvantages. But dear parents, dear students, dear teachers, it is by grace that you are with your family every day. You get to know, you get to know your family. You get to know your kids. Dati, hinahayaan mo lang si teacher, sumakit ang ulo. O ngayon, alam mo na. O di bang hirap? Ang hirap, no? Ang sakit sa membrane, isopagus. Down to your internal organs. Di ba? Ang hirap. Oo, ang hirap. Dati iniiwan lang sa therapy eh. Ngayon, alam mo na. Pag nagtantrums, kailangan ang lahat, lahat ng buong nervous system mo. At kailangan unang-una, sinong kakalma? Ikaw. What are the challenges? na pinagdaanan ko. Yes, I am Candy Pangilinan. I am an actress, but I am also a mother. I am a mother of a child 
who has ADHD and autism. Pero mas malakas po ang ADHD ng aking anak, which is Quentin. Uh, if you don't know, we have a vlog. Uh, ang, ang vlog po namin ni Candy Pangilinan po, na pinapakita po namin ang daily life po namin, ang struggles po namin mag-ina, ang journey po namin. What is my greatest um, challenge? Actually, hindi ko na ma-pinpoint kung ano po ang greatest challenge ko. Kasi I think every day is a challenge. Ano ba today ang mangyayari? Because every day is a surprise. It could be a bad day. It could be a good day. But I always say tomorrow will be a better day. If today is not a good day, I think tomorrow will be a better day. If today nagtantrum siya, nagwala, malamang may, may kinaing matamis. Alamin natin, ano ba ang trigger? May matamis ba? Meron bang hindi na-express? Meron ba kayong nasabi? Meron ba kayong napangako na hindi nyo nagawa? Ah, because especially if the child is non-verbal, because I remember when my child was not verbal, I my spiritual mentor always reminded me, always say good things. Just always say good things. Because if the child is not verbal, the more siya nagko-comprehend. The more your child will comprehend things. Lahat ang naririnig niya, na-assimilate niya. So I remember Quentin, when he was younger, na mamalo, nangangalmot, and all that. Parati ko lang sinasabi, good hands, good hands, good hands. Tapos, pag sinasa pa ako, good hands. Pag nagwawala, patience. Patience. I, I always say the things I want him to be. I want him to have. Don't say na, ang tigas naman ng ulo mo, ang sakit. Di ba? Isipin nyo, nasanay tayo dun sa ang kulit ng batang to. Asahan nyo po. Pagtanda niyan, ang kulit talaga. Pag sinabi mo sa bata, ay naku, busit tong araw. O kaya sa atin na lang, ay busit tong araw na to. Asahan po natin. Buisit na yung araw natin. Diba? Ganun lang po kasimple. There's so much power in words. What more for a child who cannot verbalize? Sabi nga sa akin ni Dr. De Malanta before, Candy, subukan mong hindi magsalita. Kumain ka, tapos hindi mo masabi about water, that you needed water. So I tried it. I really tried it. Kumain po ako ng uh, pulveron, hindi scotch tape ko po yung bibig ko. Tapos, hindi ko po ginamit yung kamay ko. Gusto ko ng tubig. Totoo pong uhaw na uhaw ako. And, yes, I cannot express myself. And, totoo, you will go into tantrums. So, if your child is not is non-verbal, there's a big chance na kaya po siya nagwawala, kaya po siya nagtatantrums because he or she cannot express himself. So, what do we do? I tried po yung sign language. Mom, give me water. Nag-try, nag-start nag po kami sa, nag-start po kami sa, ano lang, sound. Ah, uh, eh, eh, ah, uh, ah, uh, eh, eh, eh. Hanggang hindi po niya ako tinatap to ask, hindi ko po siya binibigyan. Wala pa na mahong namatay sa pag, hindi pagbigay ng tubig in a few while, di ba? Wala pa naman. I, I remember the first few months na pinatherapy ko po si Quentin. Iyak po siya ng iyak hanggang napaos po siya. And then my occupational therapist during that time was Teacher Tisha. Sabi po ni Teacher Tisha sa akin, sabi ko, I ko teach. Iyak po ng iyak si Quentin. Ano pong gagawin ko? Sabi niya, Mami, wala pa namatay sa iyak. Sabi ko, wala pa ba? Sabi niya, wala pa. Okay po. So, basta ho buhay. Okay siya. So, napaos si Quentin. Napaos lang naman. Pero buhay naman po. So, pag nagwawala po yung bata, just make sure the, per the, the child is in a secure area. Yung hindi niya ho siya masasaktan. Because eventually, sa ikabubuti niya yon at sa ikabubuti niyo rin po yun. Both ends. What are the challenges? How did, how, paano ako nagkano ng positive outlook? 
I think every parent has this. When your child is differently abled and you have nowhere to go and you don't know what to do, you will, you will have no choice but to have a positive outlook because that is what will keep you going on. That is hope. The hope of tomorrow, the hope that you know that everything will be okay, that there is a God who loves you more than you love yourself. And that love that you have for your child, that love will transcend and will heal your child, not only your child, but also yourself. I think, dear parents, we have to heal ourselves first. Let's stop blaming whoever. Let's stop blaming ourselves. Let's stop blaming kasi ito siya, ganito, sa jeans yata to, o kung sino man. Let's stop it. Let's just embrace it. Ito na yun eh. And let's just move forward. And the mere fact that you are here, you are in school, and you want to improve, and you want to find out the talent of your child, wow, congratulations. You are on the right track. Grabe, grabe. I think that is everyone's dream. That is every parent's dream to find out ano bang meron ng anak ko. Ah, anong surprise? May surprise yan eh. Sabi nila, every child, is different. Truly, every child is unique. Every person is unique. Not only a differently abled person, but every person is unique. And every person has a gift. And your child is no different from that. Your child has a gift. Your child has a talent. We just have to find out what. At kasama ka sa journey na yun. And when you find out how to develop that, pati ikaw, di ba? You, you feel the fulfillment, you feel the happiness, and you feel proud because you made it. We made it. Tayong dalawa. The journey of your child is your journey as well. Not only your journey, but the journey of your family, a journey of the whole community. When a child gets to talk, when a child gets to walk, when a child gets to go and be inclusive in a community, you change a life, not only of that child, but of a whole family, of a whole community. And I would like to thank ILLC for going to that step and to that goal of changing lives, not only of that child, but of the family and the community as well. Because that is something different. Because that is a dream that one day that we all have our children, diba? A part of a community accepted with respect and dignity. But that's all our dream. Dear parents, congratulations. Totoo. Congratulations. Good job. Good job po sa inyo. When you're tired, sabi ko nga, parating ko sinasabi, I have never, ever, ever realized the importance of buntong hininga. <laughs> Ngayon ko lang na-appreciate ang buntong hininga. Pag napapagod ako, pag may nagwawala, pag sinasabi nila, Kenny, ba't ang haba ng pasensya mo? Gusto ko sabihin, masarap po magbuntong hininga. Yung... <sighs> Ibuntong hininga mo. You know why? It really helps. Because they don't understand. If your child hurts you, you know what? When they realize na nakasakit sila, the more silang nasasaktan, 
when the realization comes. That is what happens with Quentin. Minsan nasasaktan niya ako, napapalo niya ako. Tapos mas naiiyak siya pag nare-realize niya na, ay nasaktan ko si mami. Mas, mas nasasaktan siya. Because he cannot control himself. Remember, dear parents, it's a chemical imbalance in the brain. So we have to understand. Our children are there, and God gave us, and God gave these children to us because kaya natin. Kati ko nga sinasabi, maybe sila po ang ating ticket sa langit. Because dati naman ako ganun to kabait. Pero pinabait ako ng anak ko. Sobra-sobra. Pinahaba ang pasensya ko. Maraming issues na hindi ko na masyadong pinapansin kasi sa anak ko palang punong-puno na ako. There's so many things that we do not need. And this pandemic has taught us that we only need each other. We only need each other. We only need the people in the family, our teachers, our therapies, our doctors. We only need each other. Let's simplify our lives to get to our goal. And what is our goal? And that is to make our children shine and find out how they can be involved in this community, in our community, and be better people. And kaya po natin to. Yes, kaya. Kaya. Huwag po kayo mawawala ng pag-asa. Totoo po yan. Ang nawawala ng... The moment na walang po kayo ng pag-asa, mawawalan po ng pag-asa ang anak ninyo. The moment na walang po kayo ng pasensya, mawawalan po ng pasensya ang anak ninyo. So just continue the journey. Life goes on. Life will continue. Your children will grow up. You will get old. And they have to move forward. And we have to look at pag tumanda po sila, panonoorin po natin sila at sabihin natin, kaya na nila. Kaya na nila. And that is the goal. And congratulations, Indies! Ang huhusay ninyo! Congratulations! Good job! Good job, everyone! Congratulations! <laughs>